In this video, I will demonstrate how to work the loop or loopy stitch. This is a stitch that creates a heavily textured fabric, like the cuff of this jacket here. The first step is to work until the point where you want to create a loop stitch. So here I want to make a loop stitch. You will knit into the stitch, but leave it on the needle. Bring the yarn to the front of the work between the needles and wrap it around your thumb. Then bring the yarn to the wrong side of work again, so to the back of the work again between the needles, and you will knit into that same stitch again. And now you can drop the stitch off the needle. And here you see you've created a little loop. Now you want to return both of the stitches you just created back to the left needle, purl-wise. And here's tricky, you don't want to drop that loop off, you want to hold it to the front of work. And now knit through both of those stitches through the back loops. And now you've secured your loop. And this is what the loop looks like once you've worked a little bit. So I'll show it again. Knit into the stitch where you want to create the loop. Bring the yarn to the front of work. Wrap it around your thumb and bring the yarn to the back of work again. Knit into that same stitch. And you can drop the worked stitch off the needle. Return both of the stitches you just created around the loop stitch to the left needle and then knit those two stitches together through the back loop to secure your loop stitch. So you can make different sizes of loops. For instance, you can work the stitch and wrap the yarn twice around your thumb to make a slightly larger loop. And of course, you can wrap the stitch around as many times as you want to make even larger loops. If I wrap the yarn around my thumb three times, I make an even larger loop. Here you can see the size differences between once, twice, and three times around the thumb. Now if you want to make a great big old loop, you can use some props that are much larger than the circumference of your thumb. I'm using a coffee shop card here. And when you wrap the yarn around other objects, you can create even larger loops. So have fun with the loopy stitch. Maybe you'll incorporate it into one of your knitting projects.